Hi friends, I uh, have never done a movie review, but I thought it was necessary. I just saw the new movie Padre Pio 2023 version uh, with Shia LaBeouf, or however you say the guy's name. And we all know this, this guy's story. He is an immersion actor and he got so into the part that he quit his life of, uh, of uh, bad things and became a Roman Catholic, not only a Roman Catholic, but a traditionalist on top of it and um, I for one was completely pumped to see this movie and have been pumped for a year waiting for it to be distributed it got caught up in distribution problems just like the passion Mel Gibson's piece and I absolutely wanted to love this movie I had every reason to 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 love this movie and uh, my wife Joni and I <laughs> walked away uh, pretty like okay totally disappointed totally disappointed kind of devastated and I'll explain why before you go into the same experience um, in case you want a little heads up here so uh, I don't really have to worry about spoiling the plot of this movie we all grew up with Padre Pio and know and love him as a saint um, so that's there's nothing really to spoil there um, some things that are done extremely well is it's a modern movie, so it's got all the great cinematography things that modern movies have. I actually don't care for the photography in this movie because it's it's that type where the camera is always moving, you know? Uh, they started doing this in TV shows like 10, 15 years ago. I'm just distracted by that. It's a small thing. I know it's my problem and no one else uh, has this problem. Um, the other thing is the movie is super dark physically. It's all candle lit, natural lighting. So the, like most of the screen is black and you see the corner of someone's face or a little piece of their mouth. And it's very artsy that way. It's very artistic. These are the positive things, by the way. Um, the temptations of Padre Pio by Satan, by the devil are extremely realistic. They're not for the light of heart. Uh, one of them is pornographic, we had to skip it. Um, but I mean, I, I have every reason, reason to believe that they are very well done and very realistic to what Padre Pio uh, experienced in real life. I mean, we, we grew up hearing stories about him wrestling with the devil, like in his cell. They recreate that scene, it's very realistic. Uh, wild dogs attacking him, they recreate that scene you know, prostitutes attacking him or uh, tempting him, they recreate that scene. So there are some very realistic uh, moments in Padre Pio's life. Now, the backdrop of this movie is in between the two world wars. It's at the end of the end of World War One. People are coming back from the war all beat up, completely poverty stricken. It, Italy has its first election, its first, you know, non-monarchy election, the, the rise of socialism is happening. So this is the backdrop of the movie and on Padre Pio's early priesthood before he received this, receives the stigmata. And um, it's just dark. The whole thing is so dark. The parish priest is completely corrupt and on the payroll of the military. Um, everyone is despairing. Nobody has food to eat. They they, are, they embrace socialism in the movie because they think it's the savior of the people. And the only, the only thing that's positive going on in this town in Italy is Padre Pio's monastery and Padre Pio, who doesn't lose faith, although he has his dark moments too. The whole thing is just really dark. You leave the movie thinking, wow, okay, this guy's life was rough. Absolutely get that. But what's the point of the movie? Like, am I, do I... Do I, is, does it inspire me to rush to mass and to receive communion? Does it rush, inspire me to rush to confession? Does it inspire me to go build a church or a cathedral? Does it inspire me to just be better with my family? I, I just, I don't really know what the emotion was. Uh, there's, do, there's just so much darkness in the movie. Uh, we both completely lost the point of it. Um, and uh, we made it through the movie by skipping a few parts, but uh, the points that could have been made could have been made much shorter. Um, and there could have been a little bit more plot to it. I guess that's my main criticism. So I'm really sorry to be a downer. Um, I give this guy one thumb down. 
um, maybe not two thumbs down and definitely not one thumb up or two thumbs up. So I would say one thumb down on Padre Pio, much to my disappointment. I was so pumped to finally get a movie from Hollywood in the last decade that was great, but I don't think this is it.